Hey everyone, my name is Magan and welcome back to Indie Showcase. So today we're playing Neon City Riders. Um, it is a 2D retro inspired open world action adventure game, which is a bit of a mouthful to say, but that's what it is. Um, it's made by a Mexican studio called uh, Mecha Studios. Uh, it was a Kickstarter, uh, it got completely funded, so it is in development at the moment. It's going to be coming out on PC, um, Xbox One and PS4, apparently. That's what the website said. So um yeah we're just gonna jump straight into it i mean the um like the trailers and the screenshots look really interesting and it's got some funky music <laughs> so uh we're this little dude here called rick i think i don't know what the actual story is but um i know in the fall game apparently you're going to be able to just go wherever you want kind of thing Ooh, I, yeah, that's cool. So you can step in the little yellow box and you've got the in, like the indication of what button to press to attack. Which is a nice little touch actually, it's a nice little feature. Like it tells you what to do without having to explain everything like very like simply. Again, so you go up to people and you press Y. <clears throat> so who's this old dude? Yo, kiddo! Welcome to this humble and quick mo quick made test room. I mean, the evil warehouse! <laughs> anyway, you need to explore this place in order to get some cool upgrades and reach the exit. Oh, I'm not going to do that voice. That voice is... I can, that already hurts my throat. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, let's, let's make him sound... I don't know. That voice kind of suits him, though. Find me around to help you with the basics and get some cool rewards. Not to bring some pressure over your shoulders, but... All the city and its people rely on you. But don't panic, kiddo. We've got your back. Okay, cool. So I guess I just explore. Burger. Beefy and greasy. Recovers half of your life. So I've got I've got a lot of health by the looks of things. Pizza slice. Cheese, your favourite. Oh, cheese is amazing. Recovers two hearts on use. I don't know why the... Y button there is at a weird angle. Okay, uh, chicken ramen. Steamy and spicy recovers all of your hearts. Nice. Food will help keep your HP to the top. In the other hand, drinks will give you special effects by a short period of time. Set your item with the D-pad and consume as many as you want. Or have with the um, left bumper button. Remember to eat your veggies, kiddo. Oh, that's nice. I suppose they could have just shown us that. It, I always feel like it's better to show rather than tell. Because people will skip a lot of the, the the text. So just be, oh yeah, you can do all this stuff. Here you go, blah, blah, blah. Kind of thing. Oh, wait. Okay, I can't break boxes. So I am guess I'm going to the left. Hit you on the way. Ouch! <laughs> I like the fact it has a little ouch when you do that. Ah! Okay. Ow! Wait, am I losing health? No. Okay, cool. I thought I was losing health from like just hitting him for a second there. Oh, apparently that. Wow, that took off a lot of health. Okay, let's have. Uh, let's have my cheese pizza. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna follow the yellow boxes. I can't like it feels like that's where I should be going. Although, no. hey again, we should keep upgrading your gear with some psychic abilities. Here, this magical pin will give you will give your shoulder pads some rad powers. Use the skull bash against wood objects to watch them fly into pieces. By the way, all this new ability consumes some of your mana bar. Yes, that blue thingy on the top. Keep it up, kiddo. I know you can do this. Okay, Skull Bash. Summon the inner spirits of your shoulder pads. Use it with A button. Oh, nice. So I can smash boxes in. Yeah. Well, um, seeing as I'm over here, I think I'm going to go up first. Ah, I can dodge out the way now. 
See, I, I can't... It's hard to tell if I'm taking damage or not. I don't think I took any damage, but... I'm not really sure. Ooh, I want that spicy rice. I, I don't want to risk touching those because I don't know how much they're going to hurt me. Oh god, I guess we, we might find out in a minute. <laughs> Unless I've got skills. Whoa! Nah, I'm good. Look at me roll. The jaw, it feels very smooth actually. The, the sprites and all the animations and stuff like look really good. They're really well done. Like even the facts. So I can do a little slow walk. And he's, he doesn't move that much. But as soon as you start running. Hello. Well that that seems to be a little bit, a bit of a bug there. So yeah you can like walk slowly. And he's got a different animation for like running. So that's nice. What the hell? Why can't I get there? What? That, that's weird. Yeah. How are you doing so far? Listen, do you believe in parallel, parallel universes, dimensions and so? Well, you better do. This pin will allow you to see things that are not normally visible to the naked eye. Oh yeah, I can't do that voice. Okay, normal voice. Uh, now you can use this new upgrade on your mask to visit the underfield. You're halfway, kiddo. Okay, take a glance to another dimension. Switch between dimensions with right bumper button. Oh! Oh, so that's why I couldn't get there. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think that might that's something that needs to be fixed a little bit. Right. There's just like the collision between objects that are there and aren't there. I'm just going to ignore you. So. Alright. We're going to go down here. So, yeah, look. See, I can just go behind that stuff. And this is a dead end. Oh, no. There we go. Can I walk on? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be a little bit weird. The fact that you can just walk on stuff and walk through stuff that isn't there, that is there and isn't there. So I, yeah, I think it'd be obviously it would be a lot better if you could, you know, you had to like kind of switch between worlds and it, it it'd actually have an effect at the moment. It feels like I can just walk. Like if I knew it was there, I could just kind of ignore it. So we can. Fresh bubbling and will give you infinite mana for a while. Alright, cool. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh. Wow, okay, that's that's a one touch death. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go. Oh shit, no, that was <laughs> that was just, that was just me being rubbish. So what happens if I just stand here? Oh, it just pushes me between. Oh, shit. How am I meant to get through there, man? Okay, we're in that bit. Nothing. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. I will do this. <laughs> we'll get through. All right. No, I, won't. I keep getting caught on that bit. That one little bit. All right. So I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna wait till everything. See, that seems like a good path. Oh no! No, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was there. Oh. Whoa. Ah! Okay, I will stay here. I live here now. It is fine. And... Okay, cool. I've just got to wait. No! Mm. 
This is just failure so much. All right, cool. So, stand here for the moment. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, how am, how am I so bad at this? Okay, through to that bit. What? How did I randomly just die? Okay, so here, I am safe. This is stupid. <laughs> Okay, alright, this man's just gonna walk right through, is he? So, are we... Is it like permadeath for those characters? Oh, that, that, look at that, that was skill! Okay, what do I do here? Alright, so, well, what do I do now? I'm just like, I'm stuck here. That was so much easier coming down. Um, alright, so, maybe I wasn't meant to go that way first. Maybe I was meant to go up here. Maybe this is the actual path. I'm ignoring all this shit. I need to deal with it at the moment. Oh, just dude. Nice to see you again, Kilo. As you can see, there are a lot of dangers out there. You need some kind of protection. This magical pin gives your wristbands an armor upgrade. Tempered armor lets you avoid danger for a short period of time. All these psychic abilities consume some of your mana. Keep it up, Kilo. We believe in you. Tempered armor. Become invincible for a short period of time. Use it with B button. That is a short period of time. <laughs> it really doesn't give you long at all. So you have to be like super precise. Here we go again. <laughs> also, it seems a bit like Redon having your um, health bar and mana, mana bar in two places. Like, I don't feel like there's much need for that. Alright. No, you bastard. I don't know how I survived that. That made absolutely no sense. <laughs> I can't go through yet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, do I use it to get through here? Yes. And what's up here then? What are you going to give me this time? Wow. You are pretty good to make it this far, kiddo. Now it's time for you to get the final upgrade. Let's boost that rusted pipe of yours. With this pin, you can reflect bullets and psychic projectiles back to your enemies. Hold X button to charge and release it to use the Echo Strike. Remember, aim the direction you want to reflect the projectile when releasing the Echo Strike. You are almost there, kiddo. Keep on going. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, okay, so I kind of aim. It's weird that I move at the same time. You'd expect my guy to be, like, stood completely still. So, is there anywhere I can test this out? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, you actually got to properly aim it as well. Alright, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, like I said, all the animations are really cool. Look, like the dash. And the fact that it, like, it, it spins for a little bit and then it speeds proper up and then you've got the other animation for it. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Huh? Why didn't that reflect? Apparently I hit something. And I'm, I'm glad that your mana, like, refills automatically. It'd be a pain in the arse if it didn't. Okay, I hit something. That, that's my only other... That's, that's another gripe, actually. It's... Like, I should... If something's shooting at me... It should only be shooting at me if it's on the screen. Like, I should be able to see it. Because, look... Well, if I'm stood there, I've got something shooting at me. I kind of know where it's coming from, but I can't be, but I can't be like precise with like, where I want to reflect stuff back. So that bothers me a little bit. I wonder if I can reflect. No. Also, I can't. I don't think the dash goes through stuff. All right. Anyway. <laughs> That's dealt with. So I can't hit him when he's like electric. What? Uh, okay. So see, I have to I have to stop moving to get my health back up. But at the same time, it doesn't pause the game. So it makes it it gives it that nice bit of challenge. What happened there? Ugh. <laughs> I can see myself getting very frustrated with this. What is happening? Oh. Uh, okay, opened up that. That was a switch. Yeah, I kind of figured like the yellow boxes kind of show you where to go a little bit. So it's a subtle. Well, I suppose not. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I've run out of mana. See, look. I should be able. I reckon. If it was me, I'd put it in, so if this particular power ran out, I'd just, I'd fall. Come on, dude. Die. Okay, I'm gonna get you. You're down. I've got one more here. Oh, I've got another one down there. Um, do I have any more things to eat? Oh, I've got a... Uh, yeah, I've got my ramen. Um, was it left or right that I had to go? Yes, left. So we're going up here. Ooh, there's meant to be boss battles in the game as well. Not in the demo, apparently. <laughs> right, so thank you for playing this demo. Uh, we had a blast together, right? If you think so, too, please support us on the Kickstarter campaign. Well, that's already over, so don't need to worry about that. <laughs> uh, made with tons of love by Mecha Studios. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's that's the demo. Um, pretty good. Uh, I think the environments... Well, I know it's only a demo, but I think if you're putting out something to showcase a game... Um, I think the the environments could use a bit more detail. Obviously, like you like it said, it, it was like a warehouse level, but like you had these big just blank spaces in there. Um, so I think that could have been done a little bit better. Um, the the dash, you, I don't think you can like dash through things. It's not like a it's not like a dodge. You literally just have to dash out of the way. Um, uh, the power up where you spin your pipe and deflect stuff didn't appear to work all the time. Uh, there was a, f a few occasions where it just didn't hit it back. Um, what else? I can see, I can hear the music getting a little bit repetitive <laughs> as well. <clears throat> um, so it might need a little bit of variation. But apart from that, I mean, like the sprite animations were like very nicely done. Everything looks and feels really good. Um, like you've got some cool mechanics, some cool ideas in there. Uh, like the switching between the parallel worlds. Um, it just needs to be done so if you're in one world, you can't collide with stuff that's in another because that makes no sense. Well, I suppose it does, kind of, but it doesn't at the same time. But that's a whole different conversation, I think. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good. It's, there's a lot of potential there. 
but yeah, I think it was good. I think it was a, a decent little demo. I don't think it showcases everything that's going to be available in the full game. Like I said, the, the screenshots and like the trailer seem to show off so much more. And this demo, it wasn't a disappointment. It's just I wish there was more to it. That was all. I feel like it was thrown together a little bit. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to see what else is going to come out of it. And I don't know when it's going to come out, actually. Let me have a quick check. Okay, so the Kickstarter says it's going to come out in the first quarter of 2018. So, hopefully not that long to wait. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, what I'll do, I'll leave links down in the description below. Um, so go check out the, the web page mainly, because that shows so much more of what this game is going to be. And it looks really good. It's just a shame that uh, the demo wasn't as fully fleshed out um, as the ideas that they're putting forward on the website. Uh, I'll leave links down in the description to um, like the Kickstarter. It's got a lot more information on there as well. And, you know, to all the places that you can follow me. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, um, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. Um, so like, even if you don't like the game, uh, someone else that you know might. So go ahead and share it so other people can be interested. And yeah, and that's going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.